Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Red Cloud. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to be a VTuber. All right, guys, I am in front of my avatar. So by no means am I a pro VTuber or, you know, an expert VTuber. I literally just started VTubing just a few days ago, uh, trying it out and making my own model and stuff like that. Uh, this model was actually made by an artist on Fiverr. So if you guys want a link to their Fiverr, and if you guys would like to contact them, they have really good prices. Uh, you guys can check the description below for like a 20% coupon and stuff like that. So you guys can save some money on that as well. Anyways, guys, I'm live on Twitch Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. If you guys would like to stop by, ask any questions, I will be there to answer them. First and foremost, let's get right into the programs that we're gonna need. The programs that we're gonna be using today are Vroid Studio and V Magic Mirror. So, first and foremost, if you install Vroid Studio, go ahead and launch it up. It launches just like this. And then these are the base avatars that you can start with. Uh, let's, I've, these are the two that I used first. Uh, this one was a test. This one was yesterday's stream. And now I've got my new avatar that I had an editor uh, make me, a graphic designer make me. So. Uh, let's uh let's go with Victoria Rubin. Yeah, could we could have don't gone with the cat ears, but you know I don't really you know. Oh my God, she's adorable. Anyway, uh, let's not get distracted. Um, so once you're here, if you like the avatar, let's say this is like your, th this is literally you. This is what you wanted. You would just export it, and you would skip to the next step. But if this is not what you want if you want to customize this let's say you want to customize her dress her her height or her weight or whatever it is her eye color you would start messing with her face editor her hair editor body editor and trust me this is not as complex as you think it is see for clothing editor let's say uh she wants let's say you want to puff your skirt bam just slide it's it's all sliders really simple not too complex the most complex thing about Vroid is the hair, without a doubt. I mean, it takes time and patience. I think if I took probably a few hours, I could probably be relatively good at it. Um, I think, obviously, that's with anything in life. So take your time with this stuff. If you don't have the money to, let's say, hire a, a Vroid editor at all, um, take your time and learn it. Trust me, uh, if you wanted to, let's say, change the color of her clothes, you'd go to the texture and you'd go to shade color, change that to a blue. I know that looks terrible now, but hey, not the point. Point is that we can do it. All right. So, oh, yeah, that's this is why I pay people to do this for me and not me to do it for them. Anyway, so once you're satisfied, you would go to camera exporter and camera slash exporter and then go to export right here and then you would export it save the file to your desktop or where a file or folder wherever you uh, feel comfortable having it and then we're going to go on to the next step um and that is going to be v magic mirror which is what i'm using currently at the moment so v magic mirror is free like i said once you're done installing it uh, you can launch it up you do not have to use uh, face tracking. It does use lip sync, so that means that you would select your um, your mic right here, and it will move your character's lips when you speak into your microphone. So you can change the sensitivity and stuff like that. And by the way, if you guys get the V Magic Mirror installed, it's not going to be as set up as I have it. I will go over the settings just a little bit. But I'm not going to go off in too, too many tangents with it because I, I really want to keep this video short. So since I'm not going to go into every setting, I am going to upload my settings in a file that you can import if you go here and you go to load. So I will be saving this these settings onto it and uploading it. So check the description of the video. I'll load the one singular file onto here to get my settings. So to load your avatar, you would go into load file on PC. And then these are the my VRM files that I have here. So I would click this one. Uh, yeah, I would click this one. Press open. All right, guys. So once you guys are done uploading your VRM file onto VMagic Mirror, 
what you'll do is you'll go to your settings window and then we're going to be adjusting some settings here so the default settings don't look as good trust me uh some of the settings in here are pretty like they're cool the idea behind it but relatively speaking they don't look uh as good as they do like on stream and stuff so that's why i don't use them um so for the upper body stuff and the face stuff we'll go over this i use lip sync i also use track face so you guys can um you know see my mouth moving when i'm actually talking you guys can track my face a little bit i when i move my head uh you can also blink and stuff like that when you're actually blinking that's actually right here but um this one auto blinks uh yeah so when you're not using your face cam if you don't want to you can actually use voice based motion when webcam not used so it'll actually like tell if you're far away from your mic and stuff so it'll move it according to the direction where the sound is coming from as well um so for i i use user for you could change it to mouse you could change it to none eye motion scale i have this to 185 so it moves my eyes a little bit more when i m actually move them uh blend shape i don't think i've touched that um motion i use always hands down mode on here you could um see like how i have my hand up right there like i think that looks kind of whack <laughs> in my opinion so i don't do that uh, i always keep my hands down but there are some things that you can do to make it have a little bit more life and movement and i'll show you guys that in a little bit um modify shoulder motion that moves your shoulders up and down a little bit um yeah, honestly, that stuff, I think the motion stuff in this software is not the best, uh, so I don't really mess with it. Uh, layout, um, I don't change any of this stuff. Effects, the same thing. Quality, you can change this to what you'd like. Uh, very low, I'm assuming it's going to help with your CPU. Ultra, you know, if you want to use ultra settings. It doesn't matter to me. I use high. Um, I haven't seen a difference between the two. So you can actually also input game uh game pads onto here so you guys can actually move your character as well i think um having it be like a little video game is kind of cool but at the same time it's not really the device assign here um is kind of the same thing so if you type like reset joy anger and all that stuff it'll actually make you do that stuff i'm not really a fan of that this is what that looks like uh press joy oh my god i'm so happy or angry i'm angry sorrow i'm sad fun oh my god or you can do the wave thing that's pretty cool the other thing that you can do uh which i actually was using a little bit is the num zero through eight thing so if you have a keypad you can actually just press the button one two three four five six seven whatever like thumbs up yeah okay so um that's something else that you can do on here which is something that's really interesting but that's about it for as far as settings to go for me the next thing that i'll show you guys how to do is actually import this um window and this is the window by the way i haven't shown where the window actually shows up but the window is right here so i'll show you guys how to actually put this window into obs right now all right so let's get this green screen off me and let's show you guys how to actually set this up properly so i'm going to take out my sources tab right here this is sources uh in obs so if you guys don't know where this is uh you should be able to see it. if there's the plus sign this is where you add game capture and stuff so i am going to delete this and re-add it for you guys on stream or uh, in the in the video so oh no where'd red claw go oh my god he's dead no i'm not i'm here window capture bam press okay this comes up bam your window you would use v magic mirror right because that's what we're looking for so you press that and bam look i'm on the screen again let's go so once you did that you can rename this to whatever you want you can rename it to um you know sub to me please i don't know why but just do it anyway Filter is the next one. If you guys can't see that, it's right here. So you'd go right down to filters. That's awesome because we're going to drag this over here. And this is what you'll see. So filters, you'd go to the plus symbol, chroma key. 
chrome, chroma key. And then key color type is default green. And that's it. If you want to change the smoothness of it, you can change that as well. Uh, the smoothness obviously fades into the actual avatar after a certain point. So, you know, it starts to blend it. But uh, go as high as you can without it doing that. Because uh, it'll reduce the green outline that sometimes does happen when you're using key color chromas and stuff because uh chroma i mean it's software so it's not perfect right so let's try your best get the green out of your avatar press close and then all you'd have to do is move your virtual self uh and just adjust the size depending on what you want and stuff and then that's it i mean that's all it takes to be a VTuber. I mean, a lot of people have a lot of, you know, backgrounds and stuff, a lot of custom stuff. I don't have any any extra stuff like that. I think, uh, you know, what I have right now is just the basics, the free, free-to-play basics, basically. So I only mess with that, and I don't um, plan on messing with any other stuff until, you know, I figure out if I want to keep VTubing. Um... But yeah, guys, that is about it. If you guys like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more content and more tutorials on VTubing, or if you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. I will give you guys the best possible answer, and I respond to every single comment. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash redcloud, live Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, like I said. All right, guys, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have a good day.